in, uh, we call it election day, but with more and more states approving and allowing early voting, Good point. what what complicate, what, how does that influence the election? Particularly Ohio is one of those states that allows early. And what complexity does that add to your poll? Okay, that's a, uh, an excellent question. has to do with early voting. About a third of Americans will vote before November 6th. And many of the early voting will take place, as uh, you accurately point out, in some of the battleground states like Florida and Ohio. Now, what we know about them from the past and what we know about them in polling, remember, we can ask people if they voted. We don't have to ask that question in Pennsylvania. We don't have early voting. But if you're polling in Ohio, you'll ask people if they've already voted. It's a simple question. Just ask them if they voted. And here's what we know about early voting politically. It, general, favor, it favors the Democrats. But the remainder of the vote, meaning those who vote on November 6th, are more tilted towards the Republicans. And I was on this panel last night. I was moderating a panel with uh, Ken Melman, who ran Bush's campaign. And that's shameless name dropping, by the way. <laughs> in, in 2004, and he was heavily credited with the strategy that won re-elections at F and M alum and a trustee. So we we're in Washington doing this little panel. It was one wonderful uh, learning experience for me. And he says. The only thing that you're doing is just getting out people who would vote on election day anyway. Think about that. It, does it matter? And most of these are people who are heavily committed to one party or another anyway. So you're just shifting when they vote. You follow me? And I hadn't thought about it that way before. And I don't think you're doing a lot with undecided voters. Because if they're undecided, they're undecided. You know, and as I indicated before. So, and, but now, when we look at it, the pattern emerging looks a little bit like 2008, meaning the proportion of R's and D's who were voting early in those battleground states. So at this moment, I'm not, I don't think it's going to materially affect the outcome, but we'll have to wait and see. Anybody else? We've got to wait, I think, to bring it a microphone. <laughs> 